This Etsy store is generated $53,000 a month and a lot of their listings look like they were made with AI. So today we're gonna get to the bottom of it. How's this store making so much money and how can we replicate this ourselves? To analyze this store, we're gonna use the tool called Everby, which is a product research tool that gives you a lot of information. As we said earlier, this store is making about 53,000 a month, which is equivalent to almost 11,000 monthly sales. And most of their listings are in the four to six dollar category. Overall revenue for this store is three and a half million dollars. You also have to remember one thing. When you sell digital products, you don't have any cost of goods sold. You don't have to have a product on your hands or pay for inventory and shipping. It's basically pure profit. The only overhead is the fees on Etsy plus the tools you're gonna use to create those digital products. So what is this store selling? They're mostly selling clip art as well as digital paper and font prints. If you remember a couple days ago I made a video talking about what is the best category to sell on Etsy and the answer was the supplies. The reason being why we decided that this is the best category because if you look at the top 10 stores overall on Etsy the dominating category is craft supplies and tools. Clip art, digital paper and the phones go into this category as well. And you might ask yourself, why is this the best category? Well, because Etsy is mostly a platform for crafters and people that want to start businesses such as print on the men's store or some little boutiques and they go on Etsy to buy supplies. That's why you want to sell clip art, digital paper and fonts because these are the digital assets that these people are looking for. And Digital Curio is a perfect example of that because they know that this is a very popular category that they can capitalize on. They have almost 1 million in sales with perfect rating. Their store overall has a nice vibe to it. In their announcement, they clearly state that this can be used for commercial use and POD, which is exactly for what crafters and people that want to start print on demand businesses want to hear. They look for stores like that. If you look at her policy, she clearly states that this is perfect for physical items, but she doesn't want you to resell it digitally. So basically you cannot just buy these digital assets and resell them yourself. That's not what her license is for. That's very important if you open a digital store and you try to sell products like that. You want to make sure right away what are the rules, what the buyer can do and cannot do to avoid any future conflict. 99% of the time nothing happens. But there's always this 1% and someone might be pain in the butt. But what is the key to their success? What type of listings are they selling and how are they making them? Are they using AI tools? I can see they have 6,000 listings. And for example, this one right here is generating almost $1,000 a month and it's a graphic bundle of witchy clip art from this store. Basically this is a bigger bundle of smaller bundles that this store contains which is very smart. Once you have a lot of listings on your store, I would say above 100, you want to create something like this. So the idea is that you want to have a couple of smaller listings in a similar niche. Let's say this bundle is going to contain pictures of witches, this one is going to contain wizards and here we're going to have ghosts. Each of these bundles is going to contain 20 images but then once you list these three listings what you can do is combine these three bundles together and sell them as a new listing and we're gonna call this new bundle magical creatures now I know I made grammar mistake don't kill me for that but the point is that create smaller bundles first combine them into big one so now this one is making you money this one is making you money this one is making you money and this one is making you money as well even though you didn't really create it because you just combine these three together into one but let's Let's look at some smaller bundles this store has so we can get an idea if we can recreate this with simple tools. So for example right here we have a bundle of clip art that's selling bees, honeys and roses. This is generating 51 sales a month and it's a quite popular listing with very high conversion rate over 4%. This bundle contains 23 images and they're in a watercolor clip art style. If you're not familiar with watercolor style it's basically this like smashed colors looks like it's it's painted. It almost looks like it's made by a child. It's a very popular style. A lot of people like this one. And AI can do this. I'm going to show you how you can create watercolor clip art by using a tool called Kittle. So Kittle is a designer tool that also has a built-in AI. So to do something like that, we're going to create a new project. And right here, we have their Kittle AI button. We're going to click on it and go to their image generator. And they have a bunch of different styles that we can pick and choose from. But what interests us are clip art styles. I'm going to click on show all and specifically, I 
want to pick a watercolor clip art because that's the one that our competitor is using. So it looks like they're selling a lot of watercolor star bees and honey. So I'm going to try to create a watercolor style bee that looks just like that. So this is where you tell the AI what do you want to create? Watercolor realistic looking bee. And now AI is going to create my image in a couple seconds. And voila, check this out. This is beautiful. It's watercolor and it looks just like we want it. However, we still need to remove background from this image because I can see the AI created this image with the white background. Our customers will not like that, but this is very easily removed with the Kittle AI background removal. All I need to do is just click on this button. And now this picture is created on a transparent background. And the whole process took me less than a minute to create, which is crazy. If you guys want to use Kittle, please use the link down below in the description of this video. It's a free tool, but if you want to use their AI feature, you will need the Kittle Premium. But if you use this code that you can see on the screen, it's going to give you 25% off. And honestly, Kittle is kind of all you need because you can create thumbnails for your listings, your images that you want to resell, but also you can make mockups all in one tool. So that's money worth investing into your Etsy digital business. But that's the only thing this store is selling. Remember, this store is making $53,000 a month. So they have more than just one type of listing. As we said earlier, they say clip Part, digital paper and digital fonts and digital paper it's basically a pattern looking like image that people buy to use and print out later to wrap up gifts around it again we're trying to sell to crafters and this is one of their most popular digital paper it's this pink looking glitter like holographic scrapebook paper and we can create this with ai as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually copy this text right here pink holographic glitter digital paper and i'm going to use this as a command in Kittle AI and hopefully I will get something similar to what I'm looking for. Because besides clip art, Kittle also has built-in pattern styles and you can pick whichever you want. So we're going to look for something the most similar to what we are looking for, which I believe might be this wallpaper thing right here. And then we're going to put our command, which is again, copy title of this listing. And unfortunately, I did not get the results I was looking for, but that's because I was using this as my base. So AI will try to create something as similar to this, but don't worry, we can easily change that. So I want the AI to create something similar to that, and I can train the AI to do exactly that. All I have to do is just give it a sample. How I'm going to give it simple. I'm just going to take a screenshot from my competitor at C listing. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this digital right paper right here. And now I'm going to go to save styles on Kittle and upload this one. And I'm going to select it as a sample. And let's see if Kittle is going to be capable of recreating what I'm looking for. There it is. We got a glitter looking like digital paper that people can use for the wrapping gifts. Now, remember our breakdown on the bundles. So, so far we have one of the digital paper, right? But we would need about 20 because usually they're sold in bundles of 20. So you create a bundle of 20 images of pink glitter, maybe red one, and let's say yellow. And then you create a bigger bundle, call it magical glitter, where you can sell it for more money. If you guys enjoy this case study videos, if you want me to do more breakdowns of more Etsy stores that are very successful. Let me know in the comment, just say the word case study so I'll know what to do. And please check out Ktool, which is the best graphic designer tool, especially with their AI and use the coupon code that you can see on the screen right now. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Bye.